Hey guys, thank you so much for all the well wishes. We didn't post last week because we all caught a cold. First we thought it was COVID and then we did a bunch of tests and it ended up just being regular run of the mill cold and we're still dealing with a few of the lingering effects. But we recorded a whole video last week and just didn't get it finished. So that's what you're gonna watch today, what happened last week. And just in case you guys are wondering, if we ever don't post a video, just go to the community page on our YouTube channel and there will be an announcement or an explanation as to why we're not there. So let's get started. All right, it's late at night. Kevin and I have a surprise for the kids tomorrow, but first we have to do some hunting. Okay, let's see if we can get it. Okay. Oh, oh. Grab him real quick, bite. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, get it. Oh. Oh man, can't get another one. No. <gasps> Too late. Woo! <laughs> That's so scary. Uh. There it is. Look at that. Ooh. Whoa. Sitting there eating my tomato plants. Oh, look at that. It is. It's chewing on it. Ready? They sting, so be careful. Okay. There's one. Oh man. Some big old ones. That's so creepy. Not focusing. Ethan's gonna use chopsticks. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, oh, sleep. scorpions. Oh, I hate them Let's so much, it. Ethan. Let's see. I just have to grab don't it. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. Here, dump it in the bowl. No, don't put it in the bowl. Yeah, bowl in there. Don't pull it out. Just hold it. Unfurl your tail for me. I'm getting this leaf up. Make sure there's not a scorpion on the leaf. <gasps> there's a scorpion on the leaf! <laughs> I'm just gonna grab his tail real quick. I think I should just stick it in there and snippy snip. Yeah, you <gasps> could do that. Here, He's alive? Why did uh, no. But for the... No, no don't do don't. that. Not you need a steeper the... bowl, steeper Kevin. bowls. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can cut that, guys. This one, he, he can't get up to you. Okay, mm -hmm. that one's done. They're like crabs of death. Okay, we're going to give fresh scorpions and a hornworm to the chickens. Okay, put that hornworm in there, Lenny. Ugh, I don't want to do it, Dad. The chickens don't really like They don't really like it. There he goes. Got it. Dude, wow, why aren't they eating it? Oh, it looks like they soar to peck at it, but some of these chickens have never seen. Oh, oh, it got it, it got it. Got it. Got the worm. Well, they definitely like the scorpions better. They look more like cockroaches, bugs, you know. What do you think, Lydia? Was that a fun activity? So fun. About once a month, we have to do the horrible <laughs> long task of clipping every single goat's hooves. And I don't know about you guys, but I always find it hilarious 
how the goats <laughs> decide their own order on who's to come in first. For some reason, they understand that we're trimming hooves and that we need everybody in the milking station. And so they each take turns waiting by the gate. One of the best things to do for overall goat's health is to keep these hooves trimmed because it helps prevent a lot of leg issues. Now, not the leg issues that we have currently with Willow and Winston and Winnie, that's sort of a genetic issue, but just keeping them sure-footed makes a healthier goat in the long run. <laughs> if you're new to our channel, you need to know that each of our goats has their own distinct personalities. Winston thinks he's the most handsome goat on the whole farm. He thinks that he can get every girl so easily. Luna is the oldest goat on the farm. She has a little bit of a saggy udder, but don't say that straight to her face, it hurts her feelings. And also, she's the herd queen. Okay, yeah. Winnie is the goat that's your little sister who wants to follow you everywhere and hang out with your friends. Daphne is all about drama. She is the most dramatic goat ever. Olive is super sweet, and I think she might be the next queen in line after Luna. Hazel is our friend's goat who we're taking care of, and she's due to have babies in about a month. Come on, Tatum. Tatum is super shy, but once you get to know her, she'll warm right up to you. Willow still has a love for stumps. She's been on that <laughs> branch like all day. So. <laughs> this whole time we've been clipping hooves and she's been standing on that. She knows just where to go. Oh, get back in. <laughs> oh, Willow, look at those perfect teats. Willow is retired from milking, but she's gonna live out her days on our farm. Fern drives me absolutely crazy. She always tries to put her feet in the milk and she's just the worst. And now for the bucks. Kevin's gonna bring both of them over here. Luna's like, hey. Okay. Zoro is pretty sweet for a buck. He's not as aggressive as Winston was. Napoleon is one of our more aggressive bucks. He's always starting fights with Zoro. Winston's very upset that they're out here. He's like, this is my territory. She's back from her spay. Oh my goodness, stay back. <laughs> Salem's happy. He said she was the best one out of all the cats. Aww. Poor thing. She's such a sweetie. Hi. Yeah, a little wait, little wobbly. Oh yeah, well, we decided to keep this kitty. <laughs> so we're going to have uh, another little cat on the farm. Little Harley. Okay. A little bit wobbly. Okay. <laughs> if you thought we had too many cats, well, you're right. So far we have Pepper, Chloe, Scout, and now Harley. Oh, and also uh, Pepper Pumpkin. We don't usually see her very often. Little bit shy. <laughs> her hunger overcomes that shyness. You helping her get better. She keeps sticking her paws through the bars and Salem's licking her. Look in her paws. Give her good licks. Well, unfortunately, guys, I caught a cold later on this week. 
So as I show you what I made for dinner, you're gonna have a rough voice <laughs> explaining it. One of my favorite summer dishes is a jicama salad. If you haven't tried jicama yet, you have to. It's light, crisp, and really refreshing. This is sort of like a coleslaw, and we'll use jicama, beets, and carrots. Once everything is shredded up, for those of you that are wondering, this little device that I use is called a salad master. It works pretty well, you have to be pretty careful with your hands, but it shreds really fast. And I didn't shred the carrots, I just bought a bag of shredded carrots. I'll chop up a bunch of cilantro. This is the star of the dish. And then I'll mix up a really quick coleslaw dressing, except this time I'm gonna use my friend Lindsay's dad's seasoning. This is so good, it has a very peppery, tangy flavor, and it goes perfect in a coleslaw dressing. So we'll add that to the salad and mix it up. This is so crisp and bright and fresh. I just love it. And remember last week when we made those pickles with our cucumbers from the garden? They are so good. It is the best recipe. I'm gonna be sure to link to it below in the description again. So good. And they stayed nice and crisp because we used those grape leaves from the grapevines. So, sorry my voice sounds horrible. I'm feeling much better. I sound worse than I feel. But as we end the summer here, this was the perfect dinner. Burgers with our homemade pickles, cantaloupe from the garden, and a fresh jicama salad. Well guys, it's been uh, pretty boring being sick. I've been in my room reading the latest Twilight book, Midnight Sun. I've been embroidering a ton. And I didn't buy any patterns. These are all just things I've copied online. But while I was inside, Kevin actually worked on the pizza oven. So we're gonna check out what he did. Okay, so while I was sick, Kevin did some work on the pizza oven. And I have no idea what he really did. Always so, the tone of surprise. <laughs> so I assume you're putting together the platform for the base so you can pour on it. You assume correct. All right. Use concrete boards so that the concrete could just bond right to it. Okay. So we decided to go a little bit bigger, a lot bigger than the actual stand. It now wants a countertop in front. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I want to be able to pull the pizza out and have that base there. Kevin, I thought you were going to do rebar. I did do rebar. Just other random stuff from the yard. I did lots of pieces of metal. It makes it strong. Is this allowed? Yes. And then you poured it. Yep. Wait, where's your grates? You don't put them in yet. Oh, you got it, it in got it, got it. Halfway and the grates go right in the middle. And you had your dad help you, which was really nice. Yeah. We got grand we got grandpa's gloves that Lydia made him years ago. <laughs> Lydia's helping hands. <laughs> so that'll keep grandpa safe. <laughs> and this is the end product. Yep. The base for the actual pizza oven is done. And now you did this out of a mixture of perlite and cement because it helps retain moisture better and it's lighter, huh? Uh, not moisture. Oh, sorry, did I say moisture? I meant heat, sorry. Yes, heat it keeps all the heat in the oven really well. Next step is the actual dome, right? Yeah. We've gotten to the dome part. Oh no, next part oh, is dang it. the fire brick. Oh right, and sizing that exactly how we want it. Okay, the actual place where we uh, cook the pizza oven on. Okay, get to work. Okay. All right guys, thanks for joining us today. We're feeling much better, and we've got a lot of exciting things that are gonna happen soon. We've got a re ultrasound Tatum and Fern to find out exactly how many babies they're gonna have, and then we also get to ultrasound Tilly, and hopefully she is pregnant. We're gonna have to wait and see. Until then, you can go watch the original ultrasounds of Tatum and Fern and see if you can guess how many they're gonna have.